Good morning. Uh, my name is Councillor Eric Seward. I'm the Deputy Leader of North Norfolk District Council and I'm the Cabinet Member for Finances. I'd like to talk, along with my colleague Councillor Richard Kershaw this morning, uh, about the discretionary grant scheme which we've, the Council is now introducing. This is a government sum or government grant of 2.75 million and it is designed to try and help those businesses that have not so far been able to access business grants. The council is now in the process of rolling this out. Applications have to be in by the 21st of June and we will start making a payment uh, at the end of the month. We very much hope that uh, this will be beneficial to businesses. We want to try and help as many as possible. Clearly, given that this is based on government guidelines and also the council has some discretion over who should receive or be eligible for this money, we have some fair and clear rules about who can and cannot receive the grant. My colleague Richard Kershaw will talk in a bit more detail about this, but I would like to emphasise that if you think you may be eligible, please apply or please contact our helpline or officers for guidance. Uh, good morning, my name is Richard Kershaw. I'm a portfolio holder for Economic Development and Business. Um, the Discretionary Grant Fund has been um, set up by the government to try and help businesses that have not been covered by previous grants. Um, it is complicated. Um, officers have worked very hard to set up a comprehensive application form to try and catch as many businesses as possible that have fallen through the cracks uh, of the other schemes. The scheme is, is aimed at businesses that, that have been left out before. It's for small and micro businesses um, in retail, hospitality, leisure, um, bed and breakfasts, and companies that are associated with the uh, leisure industry but not directly um, retail. Well, businesses have to have a turnover of less than 10.2 million if they're a small business or less than 632,000 if they're a micro business. Their balance sheet should not exceed 5.1 million for small businesses and it should be less than 316,000 for micro businesses. If they're a small business, they should employ less than 50 people. If it's a micro business, less than 10 people. Um, the government guidance um, identified a number of key areas um, that they wanted to grant to support, such as BMBs paying council tax. Some local authorities have focused their grants solely on, on these areas. However, I'm pleased to say that we have widened our focus to include some other businesses um, that were not supported under the previous scheme. However, we have been provided with very limited pot of money, and so only those businesses identified within the grant can apply. The Council has undertaken um, a business, business impact survey um, contacting businesses throughout North Norfolk to find out how they are faring, what their issues and problems are and what they would like help with. Um, the intention of the Council is to move as, as quickly as possible but it has to be safe. Um, as government um, unveil more policies and are clearer about what can and can't be done, we will be there to help businesses, hopefully to help them survive and, and to grow um, as the coming months unfold. Well, we're still waiting to know precisely what the impact has been, but we are a tourist economy and therefore there's been a big hit. What uh, the council has done through assistance from the government is firstly to pay out 26 million pounds in business relates, relief to the leisure, food and hospitality industry We've also paid out now over £50 million in business grants to small firms in the same sector. That is one of the highest payouts by a local authority in the country. In terms of the council itself, um, in terms of extra costs and loss of income, the best estimate we have at the moment is that we have lost £2 million out of a budget of just over 
15 million pounds. So we've taken a hit as well. Our aim is to help as many small businesses as possible through this period. My advice is please visit the website, look at the guidance, follow the guidance, apply. Um, it is time limited, so if you don't apply before the 21st of June, you'll miss a scheme. Please don't miss this opportunity. It's our sincere intention to help as many of you as we can.